In this video, I'm going to take you along on a two-day trip to Joshua Tree National Park in California. Uh, hey, if you like this video, it does help the channel if you give me a like. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. It is a windy morning in Joshua Tree, California. I'm not even sure you can hear me because the wind is so strong. Got a little muffler on this microphone I'm using. I'm not sure it's going to help. Uh, it is about 20 minutes before sunrise. And luckily, I did not have to drive far at all. In fact, I didn't drive at all to get to my location. I have rented an Airbnb that is just on the edge of the park and uh, in fact I just walked out the backyard through a gate and you can see where I am but if I turn around this way you can see the house I'm staying in back there so uh, I'm gonna scout around a bit I've got a particular subject in mind might be easier this way I've got a particular subject in mind and I just gotta find the right composition. So let me uh, get going, stay warm if I can. Well, the subject I wanna focus on this morning are some Choya cactuses. These are these, uh, I'll show you in a second, but uh, these kind of bushy-like cacti, I should say, not cactuses, uh, that when the sun it's hitting it from behind when they're backlit. They really do glow. There is a spot in Joshua Tree called the Choyu Cactus Garden where there's a, a bunch of them around, but that would require a drive and a hike. Not much of a hike, but a drive. And I was a little lazy this morning, so right in my backyard I've got some of these and uh, see if I can find a good composition. Nice sunrise. These uh, Choya cacti really lit up. Really hard to find a good composition, but uh, I got some stuff. Uh, probably do color, maybe black and white, kind of high contrast, because that's what it lends to. I wandered around a little bit. I came back down the hill more towards my Airbnb. And uh, yeah, just wandering around trying to get some shots, but trying to stay warm as well. Very, very cold this morning. I think the field feels way around 30, and I am in California. I was hoping to get warmer weather. We'll see. It's a glorious sunrise, though. I shot those Choya cacti this morning and they were okay, not great, but I wanted to come to a place where there were many, many more of them. So this is the Choya Cactus Garden. Uh, I'll turn it around, I'll show you what I'm looking at, but there are just thousands and thousands of these cacti that are really starting to pick up the glow of the sun. It's still about an hour before sunset. But uh, once the sun sets, it's over. So um, I just gotta find a decent composition, which is gonna be challenging given the mass of cacti here.
Well, I'm going to be shooting with my long lens, and so I want to find a nice clean area where I get a nice uh, kind of direction of these cacti. So I'm um, looking at this one in the foreground with a bunch of them in the background there, and they get taller as you go back to the background. So I think I'm, I'm just going to try it without a tripod because it's pretty bright out. And I'll just get my camera with my long lens and uh, see what I can come up with. Well, I'm just making my way around these cacti and uh, it's very, very difficult. They're beautiful, but to get the right composition is challenging. Uh, maybe you just point your camera anywhere it's going to be good, but I'm going into an area now where they're a little bit more dense. And when I use that long lens, they'll get really compressed and I might even just get sort of an abstract look for these cacti. got some good shots. A little frustrating, but uh, beautiful place. It might look better being here than it does on film or on my sensor, I should say. I'm going to see if I can find another spot for sunset. Uh, I don't much time, so I'm going to head out and uh, see if I can find something else. So I found these big rocks here, they're just amazing. I thought they might be somewhat architectural in nature, and since I love shooting architecture I figure I'd give it a shot. Uh, maybe black and white just to highlight some of these shapes. I'm not sure if they'd be any good, but give it a try, why not, I'm here. Well, the sun is about to set, but I did find this one Joshua tree that's pretty well separated from the landscape here. What I'm doing is I'm getting that sunburst just, you know, looking at it over the, uh, past the uh, tree trunk, and I'm shooting an F22. So you stop down that much and you'll get the nice sunburst in your, in your shot. This might be an okay shot. I did see this one Joshua tree that's sitting in front of this enormous rock and the way the sun is hitting both the tree and the rock you get this nice orange glow so I'm using my wide angle lens and just capturing some of this. So the next morning I went back into the park to shoot sunrise. Uh, it was really, really cold and I did not vlog it, but these were some of the best photos I got from Joshua Tree National Park. Um, hey, if you do like this video, it does help the channel if you give me a like, and if you want to see more of this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and until next time.